Today I'm going to show you how to set up and use the CNC carving machine. The first thing you need to do is get your material and measure it. First I'm going to measure the length. On this piece, it is six inches wide, six inches tall, and I need to use the caliper to measure the thickness. The thickness for this piece is 0.25 inches. Once I have my measurements, I sign into easel. Sign in with your account name. If you're a new customer, you have to create a new account. Click on new project. The very first thing you need to do is change your material and size right here my width was six inches my length was six inches and my thickness was 0.25 inches click enter and then click on the tab to close it the next thing you have to do is choose which bit you want click on this tab to check the bit look in the CNC carvey underneath the power router in this case, the bit has a blue collet. Choose the bit that matches the bit that is loaded. In this case, it is 1 16th, 1 16th of an inch upcut bit. Close the tab, click the tab to close it. Next, in this section, you may do your design. You can do text, emojis, or icons. There's also other op options for pictures. I'm going to do a basic emoji. I like bicycles, so I will choose bicycle. This section is your workspace. This section gives you a preview of what it will look like. I also need to choose my machine as a Carvey. If you notice, there's a brown L-shaped bracket. This bracket matches up with a bracket in the machine. You cannot carve on top of the bracket. I'm going to put the bicycle at the top and my name at the bottom. Another important thing to consider is the depth of the cut. If you slide the slider all the way down to the bottom, it will cut completely through the plastic, as you can see here. You only want to cut a little bit, maybe 1 16th of an inch in this case. This is a preview of what it will look like. Once your design is ready, get Mr. Senior's approval. After you have your design ready and you get Mr. Senior's approval, choose the carve button. The carve button will walk you through how to set up the machine. Double check the material thickness, 0.25 inches. This is correct. One thing I missed is instead of birch plywood, we're cutting two color acrylic. First, lift the smart clip and position your material. We're going to move down to the machine now. This is a smart clip. Be very gentle with it because it's attached using wires. Place your material in the lower left hand corner. Make sure it lines up with this lower line perfectly. Put the smart clip gently on top of it. When you click the next button, it will tell you what color clamps to use. Notice in this case, it tells you to use green clamps. I'm going to get the green screws from the bin, gently put them through the smart clamp. You want it to tighten them evenly. A little bit on this one, a little bit on this one, a little bit on this one, a little bit on this one. Check with Mr. Senior for tightness the first time you use the machine. The next thing you do is you get two of these clips. For this type of material, you can use the little bracket right here and put it down on the edge. 
you'll also you want to use a green screw. Be gentle when putting the screws in. If you over tighten, it can damage the machine. If you under tighten, your piece of material will go flying. Be careful not to cut yourself on the bit. It is very sharp. Your material should not move at all. Once you're ready, get Mr. Senior's approval the first time you use this machine. Close the window. Gently. These are the steps that walk you through mounting. Make sure the mater material is secure. Make sure you're using the blue upcut bit. Make sure Carvey's interior is clean and close the door. Once you click carve, it will start moving. The Carvey will go through a calibration process and then start carving. Do not touch the machine or open the lid until the machine has finished carving. If there is an emergency, push the blue button at the bottom.